Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. This is going to be a short non-Bible study. Uh, it's going to be about do did dinosaurs and man live together? And yes, I know the world wants us to think that you know, millions and millions of years ago, there were dinosaurs, and then they died off, and then mankind uh, rose up and evolved, and here we are today at the pinnacle of our success, I guess you could say. But uh, there is a place in Cambodia called Angkor Wat, and that's W-A-T not W-H-A-T, not what, but what. It's A-N-G-O-R, Angor Wat. A-N-G-K-O-R, W-A-T, two words. And uh, it has a depiction of what many would say is a stegosaurus. Now, what's interesting is you could show, you know, I've, you've, I've got the pictures, you can show an elementary school kid this picture of a dinosaur, and they'll say, oh, that's a stegosaurus, stegosaurus! But you get some guy that's, uh, you know, college-educated with a Ph.D. and archaeology and what have you, or paleontology or whatever, and they'll say, oh, no, no, that, that's, that, that's not, that's not, no, that's, that's not a stegosaurus. That's an elephant with horns on its back with a snake-like head. Yeah, because it, ev it evolved into an elephant or, you know, whatever. All I know is uh, they've got a couple things. They'll tell you it's not a stegosaurus or They'll say that um, Christians snuck into the place to do the carvings just to try to prove that, you know, uh, evolution's not true or, you know, Christians snuck in there and created these, what they call raised relief carvings. Now, there's a difference in carvings. When you look at, if you take a, a, a piece of stone and you cut lines into it to create an image, that is the opposite of what they called a raised relief carving. Because with a raised relief carving, you leave the stone face alone and then you carve around it to create the image so that the image stands out from the wall. Now to do this, you've got to carve everything away from the image on the wall. I mean, you can look at this temple and tell it's, it's literally thousands of years old, but it has these raised relief carvings. And, you know, it's totally different than like what the Egyptians did. They would carve lines into the wall well, and then create the outline of an image of what they wanted, you know, the pharaoh or a, a war or whatever. But these are raised. I mean, they carved around the, around the wall to create the image that sticks out from the wall. I hope I'm explaining this so that you can understand. I mean, it's impossible for somebody to think that these images were created recently. And another thing too is Cambodia is communist. And this temple is being guarded by soldiers, Cambodian soldiers with AK-47s. You know, 
they're not police they're soldiers i mean the last thing you want to do as a tourist is get caught messing around with their tourist attraction because they get money for this and if you want to get killed quickly just go ahead and start messing with uh take a hammer and start knocking around images off the wall i'll guarantee you you won't live very long but um you know this this temple is you know thousands of years old and it has all these images and you can look at look at it look at the stegosaurus picture you know i'm alternating it between the um the other pictures but when you look at the egyptian sculptures they're the it's carved into the wall whereas in the raised relief the image is the face of the wall and then they carve around it so you know it's not like somebody created this image recently no and where where did where did the artist come up with the idea of a stegosaurus he had to have lived back when there were these creatures i mean let's face it uh so i don't know i don't know you know they go down to the bottom of the ocean and they're constantly finding new creatures down there that they've never seen before and uh, there was in the 30s 1930s um there in the hist in the textbooks it said that the coelacanth a type of fish i'm probably not pronouncing it properly uh all right you spell the fish as c o e l a c a n t h s it's coelacanth and uh it supposedly was uh, extinct for millions and millions of years. And then they found some, uh, some guy was in Africa and found what looked like this fish in a fish market. And he bought it. And then they found out that, wow, it's kind of rare, but it's not extinct. But they wanted you to think that it was extinct for millions and millions of years and they call it a living fossil well you know people let me tell you something maybe maybe in uh, some of the unexplored areas of africa or in southeast asia maybe there's some prehistoric creatures that exist that we don't even know about i don't know but um I just wanted to point that out and uh, you know did man live with uh, these ancient creatures I don't know but uh, where did where did the artist get the idea to carve a stegosaurus and like I said it kills me that uh, an elementary school kid will know what a stegosaurus carving looks like but somebody with a PhD from a university uh, says no that's that's not what that is well whatever all right well all blessings praise glory and honor to the lamb of god slain before the foundation of the world in jesus name amen <laughs>